Welcome back to VAC News, the video channel for industrial vacuum applications. My name is Wolfgang Wieland. We are here in a modern animal feed plant. Behind me you can see the silo tower. The silo tower was only commissioned about half a year ago and together with the commissioning the customer installed a modern vacuum cleaning installation which we are going to show you today. When designing a suction unit, it's always important to take two aspects into account. On the one hand, uh, of course, it's uh, fundamental to fulfill the requirements of the customer concerning suction power and effectiveness of the suction work. On the other hand, all solutions always need to be cost effective. We always have to keep the budget of the customer in mind. And we can do this with semi-stationary vacuum applications for smaller applications like we have here in the silo tower. We have installed a pipework system which covers all layers, all floors of the silo tower. But on the other hand, we have installed this to a mobile vacuum cleaner which represents a performant but also a cost-effective solution. Before we go into the silo, I would like to show you the unit a little bit. For this, Fio will push the unit a little bit forward so that we will be able to show it to you. Please, Fio. The Maxvac Compact is an 11 kilowatt unit. This is the ATEX 3D version, which means that the unit is uh, explosion proof to be used in explosion hazardous areas of the plant. We have an 11 kilowatt vacuum pump in the unit, which provides a powerful suction power in order to do effective vacuum cleaning on the different layers, on the different floors of the silo. Uh, we have here a 150 liter collection capacity, which is sufficient for the weekly cleaning of the silo. Effectively, the silo does not have more than 150 liters of suction material per week, probably a little bit less than that. Uh, what, is, what is very important is uh, the electric control here. You can see here the control cable, which goes into the silo to the different floors, to the different levels of the silo tower. On each level there is an on-off switch so that the unit can be switched on and off on the levels of the silo and the operators do not have to come down here to switch on the unit. on level one of the silo tower. The dirt which is accumulated in the course of one week needs to be cleaned away and Fia will show you now how to do this.
The cleaning job for one week is now done on all levels. The collection container of the unit should be relatively full now and needs to be emptied out. Fia, could you please take out the container? In the next step we will show you how the suction material can be discharged into this container behind me. A forklift truck will bring the collection container here and then uh, the suction material will be emptied out into the container. Uh, in this case it was very important for the customer that there will be no dust creation while emptying out the container and for this uh, in this case we used a one-way plastic bag so that no dust will be dispersed into the environment while emptying out the container. If that is not so important or if it is a suction material which will not create any dust like for example uh, metal swarf, liquid metal swarf, uh, then you can also work without a plastic bag. The job is now done, the silo is clean, the vacuum cleaner has been emptied out and needs now to be reinserted into the vacuum cleaner. We are finished, we can go home now, so goodbye and see you around at the next video. Bye bye.